Expanded and Enhanced just released and it's already receiving backlash. Rockstar promised performance upgrades, graphical improvements, and technical enhancements that take advantage of the latest technology. Although the game does look nice to an extent, those phrases are a complete joke. Rockstar failed miserably. First of all, in order to experience e and &E, you have to have a PS5 or a new Xbox, so right away PC players are excluded. But for some, PS5s and Xboxes are still hard to get. Not to mention, with the pandemic, based on where you live, many people have been out of work and do not have a lot of money, my family included unfortunately, which is why I don't have a PS5. This is not Rockstar's fault, but as a billion dollar corporation, it should be something they're thinking about. This is where the first problem comes in. Before e, e you could cross-platform with your friends on PS5 while you were on PS4 and vice versa. Rockstar did the stupidest thing imaginable. They made it on two different platforms. In other words, if you were used to playing GTA Online with your friends on different platforms, you cannot do that anymore. Another thing to mention is if you notice this after you transferred all your progress over, sucks for you, all your progress is now on the PS5 and if you want to play with your friends who still have PS4s, you have to start completely over on PS4 to play with them again. It's as if Rockstar is splitting up their community even more on purpose, and if they are, it's working. Every day, more and more people are turning on Rockstar by quitting GTA Online and not coming back, and for good reason too. This is unacceptable. It's not all bad for e, e players though, at least they have access to new missions and vehicles, right? Rockstar added a whole two new missions which revolve around how special vehicles which are nothing special. It's just more races and time trials which we already have in the game. What about the vehicles? They're literally just recycled versions of vehicles we already have including the Fister Astron Mark II, the Coil Cyclone Mark II, and a weaponized Ignis. And it wouldn't be Rockstar without pricing them ridiculously, right? I mean, the Ignis is almost as much as a fucking Oppressor Mark II. It's actually cheaper than it if you have the trade price. I do have to give some credit to Rockstar though. They did add very cool new paint jobs to the car I personally love. You can tell they put a lot of effort into these. However, the things that I love about this update start and end right there. But hear me out. I don't care if they price things at $10 million. I don't even care that these performance upgrades aren't what they lived up to. No. What I care about is Rockstar's laziness, especially when it comes to patching glitches and, of course, god mode. Rockstar literally had one job. A single job patch god mode and punish the god mode users. With the release of Expanded and Enhanced, you'd think they'd have that under control, right? I mean, they even had an, an extra 6 months to do it. Wrong. God mode glitches still very much exist, probably now more than ever. The god mode speedo still exists, god mode Torador still exists, and worst of all, god mode players are still exploiting the game and racking up their KD ratio since they know they won't get punished, and this update just confirmed it. God mode players know they will never get punished now, so they will keep doing their stupid glitch. Expanded and enhanced was my last little tiny bit of faith in Rockstar to do the right thing, and they failed. Miserably. Am I surprised? No. Disappointed? Not really, because I knew this would happen. It's crazy. Nobody would dare attack Rockstar years ago, but today people just expect the worst. Let's rewind back to 2015. Rockstar Games is at the top of the gaming hierarchy. They released a game that, ha that made billions of dollars with an impeccable interactive online mode. Let's rewind even more. 2004. Rockstar released GTA San Andreas, a game way ahead of its time that everybody loved. Now it's 2022 and people are memeing Rockstar. You know it's bad when you expect the worst from the company. Rockstar, you've had so many chances. You've had so many opportunities and you keep failing. Listen to your fans. The only thing that's being expanded and enhanced is Rockstar's wallet. It's a pathetic joke. Nobody is happy. 
Rockstar, you deserve every bit of hate you are getting. That's all.